back to the channel. I am Mikey, aka Good Day to Die Cast. Um, gonna get right into it. Um, a bit of a, I don't want to say an unboxing. Um, dare I say borderline mail call. Um, been uh, introduced to uh, Premium Diecast. Thanks to Derek over at Honest Diecast. Shout out to him for introducing me into a more expensive side of the Diecast 164 hobby. Um, this uh, RWB uh, 997 I picked up, uh, I've had it for maybe a couple of weeks now. Um, I've already opened it, obviously. Um, we'll kind of go over it. And then uh, I've got one more surprise for... All right, getting into the Porsche afterwards. We'll get right into it. RWB, excuse me. Um, you know, um, right off the bat, um, it is a Tarmac. Um, it is a Hobby 64. Um, you know, what is there to say about it? It's uh, RWB 997 Philadelphia. Um, not a real big fan. Of, uh, of red cars but I mean when it comes to exotic stuff you know there's really nothing that uh, beats a red exotic especially when it's something like a Porsche or Ferrari or Lamborghini um, get right into it I guess get rid of that nifty thing and there is the card 60. Um, again, I am new, so I don't know what kind of numbers they produce. I would assume it's a thousand or better, or thousands or better. So I don't know if maybe 460 is a low number or not. Um, apparently, that's kind of a, a cool thing is to have a low number car. I mean, obviously, it was that way in the, the die cast world with like Hot Wheels and stuff. Obviously, the, the rarer the car, the, the cooler that is. So um, I guess that's pretty cool, I suppose. There it is. Um, I really like these cases, these acrylic cases that come from the like from the factory um, with uh, the Innos, or specifically, I think it's anything that's a '64, um, like the Inno '64, the Hobby '64. Um, you know, the '64s they all come in these these cases already. And I don't know, maybe I'm just a, a kind of a, a neat freak, or I like things to be just kind of organized and displayed and nice. I mean, this just when they're in this case like this. I mean, this just to me, this is just, it just screams, you know, professional collector. Um, and it just, I don't know, it just, it looks really cool. It just, it looks, I, don't know, I, I, I like it a lot better. Um, so we'll go ahead and get that off and out of the way. But I mean, you really can't, um, you know, you really can't discount focus there the uh, the detail on this I mean it, it really does look great I mean you know that's what we like about about the Hot Wheels and the Matchbox you know they're they're miniature versions of real cars you know, but I mean, this, these really are just, you know, they're, they're, they're premium and they, they really are premium quality. Let's see if we can get a better view. There we go. And I mean, it, it's, it's just the small details like that. You know, you just, you can't, you can't get that and you won't get that with Hot Wheels, with Matchbox, Roll Cage in there. And I really do, I like the, they did a really good job of the white and red. You know, there's there's not too much white, you know, just in the wheels, the canards, um, a bit of your livery, the windshield, um, and then, you know, obviously the, the roll cage there. But yeah, I mean, I wanna see, we're on here, let's see if we can get some, Zoom. I 
into the detail here. I mean, just, just the attention to the decals. And I'll, I'll throw in some, some, uh, some B-roll here on the turntable. I mean, look at just the, just the writing on the wheels. Don't ask me what it says, but I can tell you that's probably a decal of some sort. I haven't taken it apart fully. Um, that's another really neat thing about these. At least that I'm, I found out about this one anyway. Maybe they're all that way. Screws. Instead of the uh, the riveted post. And I mean that's... For me, I mean it's... it's that is kind of nice. To have sort of a thing. Unlike the Kaidos. Or at least ones I've got. Solid mirrors. Alright. And we'll get that back onto its base, its pedestal, its uh, platform, if you will. I do enjoy that they are based or pedestaled or however you want to call it. Um, just pretty standard, pretty basic, nothing fancy, just on there, hanging on by a screw. Now, uh, on to the good stuff. All right, and then, like I said, um, after the RWB, we've got one more that I am pretty excited about. Um, I don't know why it's not entirely in my wheelhouse. Um, I've never really been the biggest fan of this uh, brand of car, let alone this, this particular model. Um, maybe there's a bit of nostalgia from movies and television um or maybe it's just a really nice casting um so i think uh without further ado let's see if i can't sneakily get this one perfect into frame and out with the rwb and in with the liberty walk 308 GTB Ferrari. Um, I don't know why I love this thing, but I do. Um, I've not opened it. I wanted to wait. Um, well, obviously it's you know it's still in its packaging. Um, I'm excited for this. Um, I hope it rolls. I'm not gonna be mad if it doesn't. Um, but yeah, I I definitely. Um, was definitely excited about that. Um, just a quick shout out. Um, I am not sponsored, but again, um, thanks to Derek over at Honest Diecast. Be sure to go and check his page out. There's probably a pretty good chance that if you're watching my videos, you are you are here because of him Let's throw that away um so you're probably already watching if not like i said honest eye cast um he has a sponsorship or he's got a a, a promo code with uh, diecast164.com um they've got a website um they do also i believe that he is a seller on ebay as well this thing is is fantastic um Check out diecast164.com. Look them up on eBay. Um, they're where it's at um, for for premium diecast. Um, definitely, like I said, I want to give a shout out to them because Derek gave him a shout out, and here I am. Um, gosh, this thing is beautiful. I am, and they, you know, my, they've got a Facebook. I need to. They've got two Facebooks. I need to check them out. Yep. Liberty Walk, GTB 308 Red. 
this thing is is phenomenal. Um, let's see if we can get this to be a little bit better. Maybe you guys can can see it a little better. Fantastic. I almost feel like the case on this is a little bit bigger than the uh, the RWB. Maybe, maybe not, it just feels like it is. Interesting. Um, there is not a color with this one. I wonder if that's just the tarmac thing. It may just be the tarmac thing. Um, I definitely, oops, see? I definitely enjoy the uh, the backings. Well, it kind of slides in and slides out. I really do. I wish that there was a way to keep it, or if I end up displaying it somewhere. I mean, I think I talked about this in my mail call um, with the the kaidos and stuff I got from Derek. Um, I may have to find a way to tape or or attach it so that I can store this without the uh, without the backing paper it just it just looks it's just primo I mean, it really is nice it really is nice Let's get that out of the case let it breathe and that is every log 308 GTB. And again, um, I'll get some B-roll and, uh, and get it spinning on the, on the turntable. just lovely absolutely lovely again the the detailing the stickers the deliveries on the back don't adjust your screens that three is supposed to be offset And even that front detailing, I just it's just a beautiful car. No matter what scale it's in, it really is just a beautiful piece of automotive machinery. And I mean, let's be honest. That's what it really is. Look at that. And even on the base, look at that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Um, like I said, I mean, that's, that's really what it is. I mean, I, I'm sure there are people who are into the, the, the diecast, 164 diecast hobby who are not into cars and that's fine. That is fine. But I'm willing to bet that a good number of people are. And even on the, look at that, even on the base. On the, the plate there, LB308. I can't with these details, man. This is just outstanding. Yes, look at that. Let's see if we can get a little better lighting here. Again, I just, I love that. Maybe that's what it is for me. Is, is that sort of that angle there, seeing that, that front lip, that front like chin spoiler, I guess is the, the proper term. I mean, maybe that's, that's what it is for me is, is that. Give it a little buff. 
Let's unlock it then. Prints off. Should. Now see, interesting enough, doesn't have the giant colored uh, details, but in 64, WWK 308 GTB 164 made in China. And again, look at the detailing on the tires. Those are definitely aggressive race tires. I don't believe the RWB had that. And again, see that? That rolls on its own. I think if we, if we put that down. Uh, uh, well, 50-50, it does kind of roll, but that wheel shifts, but that's not exactly what we're here for. It is brake rotor and caliper detail. Close enough. You may just have to take my word for it. Or go buy one for yourself. No matter what. Well, this thing is not on focus today, does it? Um, <laughs> no matter what, you know, what size it is. This is just an absolute dream machine. Even better so if it was, you know, gated manual. Um guarantee it's probably being um what 80s for sure um probably early mid 80s guarantee you naturally aspirated v8 v10 um you know quintessential 80s ferrari sound just absolutely beautiful Absolutely beautiful. We will get that back on its base as well. NO64, um, Liberty Walk, 308 GTB. Um, Diecast 164, like I said, um, shout out to Derek at Honest Diecast. For the, uh, he's got a promo code there, so definitely go check out his channel, get the promo code, um, check out Diecast164, like I said, also, uh, don't be a stranger to, uh, Model Cars Houston, they're, uh, they're another good, uh, good website for those looking for premium diecast, um, golly gee, this thing really, yeah, it really is just beautiful, it really is. And uh, so much so that I now I'm starting to build up a bit of a collection. Um, I, I, Derek gave me a handful of them, and uh, I've now got the uh, these two to contend with. So I've got to find places for for them to go on the old shelf. So uh, definitely, like I said, check out Derek's page. Uh, check out Diecast One Six Four um, online and on eBay and uh look them over and tell them uh i can't good did i can't send you but uh all right folks that'll be it for now hope you enjoyed uh by all means please like comment and subscribe um you know always enjoy seeing comments um again you know still kind of a fresh channel so uh let me know what you guys want to see um definitely on a small subject um i'm thinking about maybe including some actual like real life automotive content um not so sure um, if i want to go down that avenue but uh, by all means definitely uh drop me a comment and let me know what you guys think about uh obviously die cash related uh, content but definitely on the uh real life automotive content what you guys uh Thank her if you'd enjoy seeing maybe some of that as well. Um, seeing Mikey wrench on his uh, on his Honda or, or what have you. But uh, otherwise, that's it. Like I said, uh, thanks guys for watching. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.
Thank you.